Hello and welcome to this Bioprocess International Ask the Expert webcast. I'm your host, Leah Ross, the online editor for Bioprocess International. Before we get started, just a couple of notes. This webcast is being recorded and will be made available for replay in the multimedia section of our website. We have muted the audio lines, but we welcome you to type in your questions for our speaker in the chat window on your screen. And after our presentation, we will begin the question and answer portion. And I will ask our speaker your questions from the chat window. Your questions in the chat window will only be visible to myself and our speaker. With that, thank you for joining us today. It's now my pleasure to introduce our speaker, Christine Gebski from Replogen. Hello, thank you for taking the time to join us on this webcast to learn about Excel ATF2 and ATF6 single-use products that have been recently introduced into the marketplace. Today I'm going to walk you through uh, demonstrating how these two products have the same cell culture performance as our stainless steel Excel ATF offerings, now with single-use implementation convenience. We'll look quickly at the device features and benefits and product configurations. I'll walk you through the validation activities that were executed to ensure product robustness. And lastly, we'll look at the performance of the ATF2 and ATF6 single-use devices in cell culture. So two product configurations have been launched, the Excel ATF2 system shown here on the left and the Excel ATF6 system shown here on the right. We're providing both of those devices with two uh, filter options, either a 0.2 micron PES or a 0.2 micron PS hollow fiber membrane. Each, each device is fitted with con convenient aseptic connectors that allow for uh, convenient aseptic connection to your uh, bioreactor, either stainless steel or single use. Importantly, the devices were designed with the same uh, pump and diaphragm configurations as we use in our stainless steel devices. So ultimately, that drives the uh, performance um, as compared to the stainless steel device. The single-use devices are supplied double-bagged and gamma-sterilized, again, adding to the single-use convenience. They're operated as shown here with our existing control system, so the C24 controller for lab scale and the C410 controller for process scale. And compared to our stainless steel devices, they're lightweight and stable. So ultimately, the Excel ATF technology, now at the two and six scales for lab use and process use, are available with single-use convenience which ultimately reduces and ultimately eliminates the lengthy set up, set up uh, and autoclave requirements that are associated with our stainless steel devices. This ultimately reduces the utility requirements and the resource requirements in your facilities for bringing this technology online, ultimately driving an 80% reduction in implementation time. As I've walked you through because the Filters are the same, and the pump and diaphragm configurations are identical to stainless steel. We have the same high performance capability, 100% cell retention that enables um, perfusion cell culture, high density cell banking, N minus one, and harvest clarification applications. The scalability between ATF2 and ATF6 allows, scale, allows you to scale from lab scale to production scale. It would design the configuration with a tubing set, which I'll walk you through, that allows for sterile connectivity, pre-use wetting, and pre-use integrity testing. The materials of construction are common biocompatible materials that are noted here. Um, specifically, um, polycarbonate is the major material in the housing and the diaphragm. The diaphragm is uh, silicone. It's this, as I've noted, it's the same diaphragm utilized for uh, the systems that are the stainless steel systems that are in place today. The materials of construction, the filter, have not changed, and we're using uh, PVDF and cyanoacrylate uh, in the construction of the device. So very common biocompatible materials. Importantly, the configurations for both the Excel ATF2 device and the ATF6 device 
were designed to mimic the configurations of the stainless steel devices. So you can see that many of the, the product features are identical, with the one change being the permeate holdup volume, so the volume outside of the hollow fiber, hollow fibers um, being larger for um, single use versus stainless steel by about half a liter. But through our beta testing and the performance um, testing that's been done in the field, this has no impact to uh, the ATF um, technology as a cell retention device. So essentially, all of the critical um, device configurations were designed to be allow for um, stainless steel and single use to be identical. Okay, I mentioned that the device uh, uh, also utilizes a tubing set, a six-piece or six-component tubing set uh, that was designed to allow for proper uh, connectivity and proper ATF function uh, with um, the ATF-6 device. So the six-component tubing set is a, um, a separate part. It allows um, for the right A to B uh, length to be achieved which drives proper ATF function. It allows for permeate collection, either from the top or the bottom, and it allows for uh, the device to be emptied. In addition, the device is supplied dry, so we recommend, uh, to ensure robust filter performance, we recommend that the device, the filter is wetted prior to use. So this configuration allows for pre-use wetting and ultimately pre-use filter integrity testing if you would like to implement that uh, in your facility prior to uh, utilizing the ATF device. All of this connectivity and the connectivity to your bioreactor can be done in a sterile manner, allowing for long-term uh, ATF uh, operation. The tubing configuration is uh, fitted with GE ready-made DACs. And again, it allows for um, simple connectivity of the device and ultimately simple connectivity to the reactor. And how this is implemented is supported with a user guide, a video that's on our website, and through our application's uh, support function. So the tubing set is, is critical to uh, proper connectivity, proper ATF function, and pre-use wetting and pre-use uh, integrity testing. Okay, transitioning to the uh, validation activities that were executed to ensure that each single-use device uh, is integral and robust uh, and meets the quality standards that are required. Uh, we've done a host of um, product development validation testing. I won't spend too much time on this, but here you can see the uh, tests that were um, executed. Uh, importantly, we're proving that um, each device manufactured at both the two scale and the six scale has integrity to uh, 25 PSI, pressures that are well above the operating um, pressures of a ATF device. Uh, all of this testing was executed uh, with post-gamma irradiated units and demonstrates that the devices have both mechanical and functional um, robustness. Uh, importantly, we have demonstrated that the uh, diaphragm can be operated to um, 2 million cycles, which again indicates uh, long um, capability in terms of uh, having a device um, on a bioreactor for um, tens of days. Okay, in addition, we have um, a validation, a host of validation. Uh, work that is uh, supporting what will be a regulatory support file that will be available for this product by the end of this year. We've done leachable extractable work against current BPOG conditions on all wetted parts. We've done shipping validation to demonstrate that we can ship devices globally uh, and the device maintaining uh, functionality and integrity. We've done sterility assurance level testing to uh, demonstrate the uh, capability of the gamma irradiation processes. We have accelerated the real-time shelf life stability uh, on in progress, which will help us set um, expiration dating for the product, and we're testing the max gamma stability to ensure that uh, 
the high level irradiation uh, has no impact to the physical and mechanical performance of the devices. So ultimately, the ATF-2 and ATF-6 devices will uh, have a full regulatory support file uh, to support um, implementation in CGMP um, areas. So importantly, looking at the performance of the devices, uh, many devices have been utilized for long-term cell culture at this point. Here we're looking at ATF-2 uh, single-use device performance compared to ATF-2 stainless steel uh, over about a 20-day uh, cell culture perfusion run, looking at viable cell density uh, and percent viability. And you can see that the ATF-2 stainless steel system uh, and the ATF-2 single-use systems have virtually overlayable performance. Same type of data set, again, with um, single stainless steel ATF-6 and single-use ATF-6, comparing viable cell density and percent viability. You can see over a 20-day cell culture run, you can see similar growth profiles, growth profiles were observed, and we demonstrated connectivity, wetting, and pre-use integrity procedures. Okay, I'm going to skip one, one piece of comparative data and move to the um, time and resource modeling that we've done to demonstrate uh, savings in um, setup and decommissioning time. We have a model that compares the labor and resources and time required for a stainless steel setup versus single-use setup, and have demonstrated over 80% savings in setup and decommissioning time and over sevenfold savings in labor hours if a single-use device is utilized versus a stainless steel Excel ATF device. So in closing, we've shown that the Excel ATF-2 and ATF-6 single-use devices deliver the same cell culture performance uh, as the stainless steel devices now with single-use convenience and up to 80% faster implementation time. So quick introduction to our single-use um, Excel ATF product line. Uh, thank you for your time. I do invite you to our website to learn about um, these products in more detail. And at this time, I'm happy to answer any questions. So just to clarify, you don't offer a disposable option for the ATF-4? So we have currently launched the ATF-4. Two and ATF six scale devices, um, single use ATF 10 and single use ATF 4 are still under development. Okay. Um, and what is the cost for the Excel ATF single use system? Yep. So um, we're happy to um, take those questions offline. Uh, we also have a cost of ownership model that indicates. Um, that we can walk customers through that uh, demonstrates the uh, comparison of implementing stainless steel as compared to single use. And can the Excel ATF single use system be used in the same applications as the Excel ATF stainless steel system? Oh, absolutely, because there's been uh, no change to the hollow fiber membranes utilized and to the uh, ATF pump design. Uh, the single-use units offer the same performance as the stainless steel units, so they can be used in um, cell retention applications such as high-density cell banking, N-1 uh, C-train optimization, uh, perfusion cell culture, and harvest clarification typically associated with uh, fed batch um, culture. And the ATF-6 is sized for 200 liters. Will you be introducing a system for 1,000 and 2,000 liters single-use bioreactors? Correct, yes. Yeah. So um, today we offer stainless steel uh, Excel ATF-10, and we are in the process of developing the single-use version of um, ATF-10, which would be applicable okay. to... And is the entire unit disposed of, including the lowest uh, stainless pump section for the single use? 
Okay, so just to clarify, the only the reusable um, portion of the system is the stainless steel stand, which you can see pictured here. The, um, there is no stainless steel uh, pump component. The, the pump has been, um, as I showed in the materials of construction, is also polycarbonate. So the pump hemisphere is polycarbonate, the diaphragm is silicone. So the entire device is considered um, single use and would be disposed of post-processing. Okay. And you mentioned that ATF-10, um, are you planning to develop something larger than that for single U or stainless steel? Uh, so at this time, that's not part of our short-term strategy. We are considering how to um, expand the uh, ATF uh, size range as part of our longer-term strategy. Okay standpoint, um, if you find that you need more capacity than one um, ATF can deliver based on the size of your cell culture or your um, given application, there are um, applications where more than one um, device would be used per, um, per batch. And Thank we're happy you. to those types of scale up uh, questions. Uh, through our commercial and applications team. Okay, well thank you Christine and thanks to our audience for joining us. Okay, thank you. The recorded, the recorded version of this webcast will be available for on-demand viewing on our website and as a registered attendee you'll receive a follow-up email providing you with a direct link. We look forward to having you join us at future Bioprocess International Ask the Expert webcast. We have a full lineup covering many aspects of bioprocessing scheduled for the duration of the year. Look for those announcements in your inbox.